An Army veteran with a family and a decent job, Jeffrey Ferguson was part of the 1989 rape and murder of a 17-year-old St. Charles service station worker named Kelly Hall. While he was depressed, on drugs, and often drunk at the time, he says he accepts full responsibility for what he did. I don't even remember how I got home that night, but I did it. You know, I was, there was no excuse for that. You know. Advocates for Ferguson claim the change in his life since his 1995 conviction borders on the unreal. They say finding religion was only a beginning. They say his pursuit of restorative justice from counseling both crime victims and crime perpetrators to developing a prison hospice for dying inmates is unparalleled on death row. Jeff has been transformed by his loss, his sorrow over what he has done, and by creating a life of meaning in a place where a little nourishment or encouragement can be found. If executed, they say his calming influence on the prison population as a whole will be missed. We believe that his life still has value and that he could be a contributing member of society even if he spends the rest of his life in prison. At the Capitol, Kermit Miller, KRCG 13.